welcome to Keto Beyond the Couch, episode 199. 199? Yes. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you are new here, well, new to Keto, new to Two Crazy Ketos, new to a new year, welcome and leave a comment down below. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. In that way, every single year you find yourself in a battle for your life, and you're willing to fight for it, you'll be alerted to it. I learned something today. Yes. Something that you should never do on January 2nd. Okay. Get on the scale. Don't get on the scale January no. 2nd? No. You don't we think so? We ate super clean yesterday, did really good. My electrolytes were way down. I don't think I had any electrolytes. No. I was nine pounds up in one night. Now, I mean, I know it's just that like- That was a night. My face feels puffy, but- I t You know, nine pounds seems like a, a night you should not remember, but I we almost, remember it. I almost threw the scale in the garbage this morning. You know, it wouldn't have been- Now, by the end of the day, it'll be back down. Right. But, but just that first morning, like, good morning. Welcome to the first Monday in January. This is the Monday where we say we've got resolve. We probably like start those resolutions. Right. Right. But I think that we should approach that first Monday a little differently. I think instead of leading with your resolution, you should lead with your why. Because that's what you're going okay. to have to remind yourself of why you're continuing with that resolution. Right. Right. For us, our why this year, she's 10 pounds now. Wow. Peyton is our why. And it's very easy for me to make good decisions every morning knowing that I want to be around for that little girl as long as possible. Right. So, Hey, we do have a sponsor for today's Keto Beyond the Couch. I wanted to mention it very quickly. It is Perfect Keto. Perfect Keto. Uh, they are huge supporters of Two Crazy Ketos. Thanks, Perfect Keto. Um, and they are having uh, something, I don't ever remember them having this before. They're having a like January like New Year's sale. Okay. Um, we always say never buy anything from Perfect Keto. Unless it is on unless sale. Unless it's on sale. Recently, it's actually coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, we did a grocery haul yes. at Sprouts and found a lot of Perfect Keto products are I now on Sprouts. I couldn't believe it. And I say in that video, this is great. If you're on the road and you need something quick, grab and go, maybe you didn't bring something with you, but, but it's overall, not on sale at don't Sprouts. buy <laughs> your Perfect Keto products in Sprouts. And, and I know they probably don't want me to say that, but they're always having sales. 30% off, 40% off, 50% off, buy one, get uh, one half off, buy two, get one free, those kind of things. The January sale is a little dip. It's a little different, and it really depends on what are you looking for. So I left the link for it down below. Basically, though, you get up to 40% off, depending on what it is. They have some, like, kick off the new year packages All that right. include things like collagen, um, some of the base, which you absolutely do not need base, but some people may benefit from it, especially getting through the keto flu because it's got some electrolytes, so it'll help you in the, if you're just getting started. The Beauty and Sleep Collagen, which we've started using this a little bit. It's been pretty My good. My mom really loves it, Your too. Your mom loves it. Um, they're also giving away free stuff every day, bonus things. So all of the information, use the link down below. Using that link really does help benefit the channel. We appreciate Perfect Keto for supporting Two Crazy Ketos, and we appreciate you guys for supporting the sponsors who support Two Crazy Ketos. Thank you very much. So, uh... Before we even get into this, like the title for today's Keto Beyond the Couch is How to Be Successful in Keto. And it's addressed in a lot of the comments and the and the questions that are, you know, coming up. But one thing, I know that there are some brand new people. I'm so excited about that. I'm really excited. And Not just that, but I'm excited for returning people. Yeah. People are like, this is my year. No, no kidding. Seriously. I am getting healthy this year. There's no more waiting. Right. And what I was going to say is whether you're new or you're 
you know, returning or maybe picking back up. There are certain things you need to do. And the number one thing is make sure you're on top of your electrolytes. Yeah. Otherwise, you're up nine pounds the next morning. <laughs> um, electrolytes play a huge part in how you feel weight loss and everything else. So make sure you're staying on top of your electrolytes. And you can use Redmond Relight. We have a discount code for that. You can use Element. We don't have a discount you know, code, but you get free stuff. Or yeah, you can use, this is like a go-to for us is the Keto Chow Daily Minerals, which are developed by Dr. Barry. And also the electrolytes. I like the electrolyte tablets. I saw a short of him Put in those daily minerals in his coffee. I got some in my coffee right now. Oh my goodness. No. Add enough stuff and you won't taste them. No. I'm sorry. Like, I like cooking with them. I like putting them in our um, homemade uh, bubbly water. Yeah. Sparkling water? Yeah. What do you call that? Thing. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. I like putting them in there, those and making mineral water out of them, but like put them in my coffee. No, sir. No, I cannot. It's not that bad. No. You haven't even tried it. No. I've tried it before. Add in peanut butter equip and you definitely don't taste and it. You, and you're just, you're just erasing so it So we do, we are going to be doing a video for people like how to get started. If you are brand new, here's all I want you to do. Here's the short and sweet version. Don't eat carbs. That's it. There you For go. For the first two weeks, you're not counting anything. No macros. Don't worry. Eat as many times a day as you want. Um, just always eat till you're full. Don't snack. Eat as much food as you want. I don't care if you eat five steaks. Your only goal for the first two weeks, if you are brand new or if you've been away from keto for a while, the only thing I want you to do for the first two weeks is don't eat pasta, grains, sugar, starches, and honestly, all fruit. No strawberries, no blueberries, none of it. Get rid of all of that for the first two weeks. Just eat meat, some cruciferous vegetables, as much as you want. That's the only thing you're gonna do for the first two weeks. As much food as you want. Don't count anything, don't fast, none of that stuff for the first two weeks. But we got a video coming out on that later on. Yeah. You ready? So if you are brand new, um, the way Keto Beyond the Couch works is we used to do this on video. It took like eight hours to edit, so we started doing it live. It's all about you guys. We like to celebrate wins, success stories, and answer questions and comments from the last week. If you're in the chat, all you have to do to participate in the chat is be subscribed to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. Head down below, hit the subscribe button. That's to keep out the bots. Uh, we will address the chat in the last like 10 to 15 minutes. If you have something you really want to talk about, like when maybe we're talking about something and you're like, hey, I have a good point to make, you can use the super chat function. That will highlight our screen. Exactly. So I saw somebody did have a question that was, can you put electrolytes into something hot? Yes, you can. In put them fact, in I usually drink a coffee every day with a pack of chocolate element or caramel chocolate element or mint chocolate element yeah. in it because yes you can absolutely put it into a hot beverage but it's like it's not electrolytes you worry about with heat it would be vitamins there you go so i sometimes uh now i may see a comment or a question and then we'll be able to answer it but the right. super chat makes it that it like we we it just blink 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 on jennifer wants to know how much you put a few drops it depends on what i'm doing if you're using electrolytes like keto chow electrolyte drops squirt I, squirt without abandon like i just, use the electrolyte tablets from keto chow but if you're using the drops which we have those too put them in until you like taste it you shouldn't taste it but you you want to taste just a little bit you know it should taste like almost like a topo chico kind of water um but you really are not going to taste it. They're not tasteless. They're salty, but you're not going to overdo it. But that's why I like these. I don't, I just swallow it. Um, when it comes to element and stuff, that's why I like them because they're all flavored and they give me the right proportion of water. Daily minerals, a couple of dropperfuls a day. I just do it on everything. We put it on all our food and we everything. We put it like in that. all of I our food. I don't ever worry about overdoing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so long as you're drinking water, you're not going to overdo your electrolytes. Okay, we'll let's, out, let's jump right into this. Uh, before we even get into everything, I just wanted to uh, give a little shout out to someone who is encouraging Rachel. Yes. Because we've changed the name of Keto on the Couch to Keto Beyond the Couch. If you're new here, it used to be called Keto on the Couch because we filmed it on a couch. When COVID happened, we moved to the studio. And then one of our subscribers suggested, why don't you say Beyond the Couch? because we're not on a couch anymore. And then we took that a step further and said, you need to live life off of a couch. 
So we do a lot of different things. We've learned how to stand a paddle board and we go camping and RVing and hiking and water parks. Rachel's newest thing is learning how to scuba dive, which she's doing three dives tomorrow. I <laughs> And somebody actually put this up. If and the I Lord is willing to... and the creek don't rise. We'll so here you go. I, oh, I didn't have, I have the wrong background, but you can still read yes. it. Yes. It says, Rachel, Pamela says, Rachel, this is your fault. I've been married for 33 years and have avoided learning to scuba dive. But when my <laughs> hubby found out that you were going to learn, I had no choice. I'm scared, but trying to be brave. At least I got some cute things. Pamela, you are looking absolutely adorable in your outfit. And you know what? I am scared right along with you. It's so funny but that But you're it's... not scared about being underwater. You're scared about running into things. What is going to happen when I'm under the water? I can get under the water, but it's like, will I, I, I eventually be above the water again? Like, that is the goal. But I'm glad that you're challenging me and I'm challenging you. And I think that we're going to have a very beautiful 2023 together. Some new views. We've been actually, Rachel was watching with me yesterday, like scuba diving videos from off of Fort Lauderdale Beach with people going spear fishing. And she's like, okay, now I'm interested. Yeah. And yeah, so um, Boink is saying it's actually really good exercise, especially for your legs. I, which is always a trouble area for me. Yeah. Definitely so a trouble area. It, it, it was just definitely interesting watching Rachel like, oh, wait, I can go spear fishing? Yeah. Yeah, I could get into this. So, <laughs> Okay, let's jump into our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. This one is from Mary. Hey, Marianne. Marianne said... Uh, when we decided to change our keto lifestyle, we gave up being part of the standard American diet tribe. In essence, we were banished from those people, places, activities that we belonged to. Mm. No longer was it comfortable to chat with the barista at Starbucks, bake cookies with our sisters, and enjoy an evening out to dinner with friends. We all need to be part of a group. Remember in the new year, the Two Crazy Ketos family is a tribe, a very strong tribe, that is always has your back. You need this tribe, and this tribe needs you. Amen to that. Mary Ann, thank you so much for sharing that. You're right. My advice has changed over the time that we have been keto. That's why we're redoing how to get started on keto. We're redoing how to get started with keto because I think that number one is you have to have a tribe. You have to have community. It is very difficult to pursue your goals in isolation. There's always gonna be a morning where if it's just you and yourself, you guys can talk yourself out of doing the wrong, you know, right thing. Every right. time, if, if it's just me, I can talk myself out of doing the right thing. So I need a tribe. Y'all challenge me and hold me accountable. Has Kat, you are not helping the situation here. She said, I've been scared of scuba diving since my sixth grade teacher explained the bends. <laughs> I know. The bends is completely avoidable. I, I all know. All you have to do is go up slowly. One foot per second. That is right. all you have to do. And hey, listen, when I learned how to scuba dive over 30 years ago, there was no computer. You had to tabulate everything. Yes. You're now wearing a watch on your wrist or on your console that tells you everything. You're going too slow. You're going too fast. Um, it tells you it's time to go up. Hey, you need to stop here. Like, And you're diving with a buddy who also has a computer. Speaking so, of buddies. I did want to say, yep, I just noticed. Is that Dr. Dr. Barry, Barry is, is in, in the, the house. house? Happy Happy day. Happy is. New Year to you. Hey, you crazy ketos. Hey, you, Dr. Barry. It's, I blame him for me being well enough to go scuba diving. Well, this is his fault. I, and if you're not following Dr. Barry, if you're brand new, head on over. The first thing you, yes. need, you need to go over to his channel. Absolutely. If you have questions about keto, if you want to know, can I eat this because I have this particular condition? A specific condition. Guaranteed he's got a video. Yes, if you he have does. a doctor who's like, I don't know. Refer to Dr. Barry's videos that people ask us all the time. <laughs> Listen to Rachel. Joe's okay. Uh, people ask us all the time, like, hey, what do you think about this? The number one place is Dr. Barry. We send him to Dr. Barry. And then Barry. go join his group because for as little as $5 a month, hello, you have access to a doctor. We're not right. doctors, nurses, or health professionals. I like to say Dr. Barry is going to teach you spe specific things that you need to know 
especially when it comes to medicine. And then we're going to hold your hand along the way. Yeah. Right. And I want you to know that you are going to have the opportunity at different conferences to actually meet Dr. Barry. Take that opportunity. Go to those conferences. Be able to ask him questions. Right. You know, talk to him. It's, it's a really awesome thing to go to a conference and to see him talk in person. And he is the most down-to-earth, kindest person such a friend to the keto community. I'm so thankful for him and for Miss Nisha. They've changed our life. I mean, I joke and say like, dang it, now I'm too healthy not to go scuba diving. <laughs> but I am truly thankful. They're amazing people. For their I'm so work. thankful to be able to call them friends. Yeah. And I also want to give a shout out since you brought her up and since he is here. If you have a friend or a family member that is pregnant or has just had a baby and they're looking to nurse the baby, to breastfeed, which is the best thing you can do. I wish that my ex-wife could have been able to breastfeed our children, and I know Rachel's talked about it, but when yes. you know better, you do better, That's right? That's right. But Nisha is actually a certified lactation counselor, and we actually gifted our daughter the course, and she has been amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Such I mean, Nisha a resource. has been there for her. I think Nisha actually saw a picture of the baby before I did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because the confidence that she gives has been such a blessing. And we see that both Michelle and Peyton are thriving. And I'm thankful that there you go. There's another person in the tribe mm -hmm. that's helping helping her to know what to eat, helping her to know, like be confident in yeah. Peyton's first year of life. And I mean, can you really put a price tag on that, on peace? Yeah. As a new mother, it's been incredible. Yeah, so she's been amazing. So I, I, it is the best money we ever spent was giving that gift to Michelle because I know Nisha has really given her the confidence to be able to breastfeed. Yeah. And the baby and Nisha and uh, Michelle are both thriving. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. We've got a few of our success stories. Yeah. We're called Subscriber of the Weeks. Uh, the first one is from Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Sarah said, I thought it would be fun to share the first picture I have of me in January 2022, Weight Unknown. Nice. And one from today, which is how I'm ending 2022. I started tracking my weight in July, and since then I've lost 45 pounds. Way I was to hoping go. to lose 50 before the end of the year, but I'm so pleased with the 45 already gone. I don't even feel like the same person anymore in the best way. The lightsaber pictures are from today at work. Wow. That is flipping awesome. You like just look like a champion, right? Like I love that. And the fact that you're into Star Wars too, like hello. Can we talk about work? Yeah. Are, is there a, wait a second. Lightsaber battles at work? Are are we Where do you Are we are, working in Disney? Are they hiring? Cuz like, I Because like I want to work where they have lightsabers. I can't lightsabers. read the name tag. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That looks rad. Um, Way to go, though. Congratulations. Amazing success. And I love the fact that you didn't even start tracking until like halfway through the year. Right. That's pr like you didn't even get on a scale to see. It's only we only know the 45 pounds from like the moment you started tracking to the end. Right. But you've probably lost even like way more well, than that. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, next one we have is from Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Hello to Crazy Kiddos family. I hope all are having a blessed holiday season. I figured it was time to introduce myself to the world. Sorry it's so long, but so needed. The keto lifestyle is the only life for me. I eat more towards ketovore. I am the healthiest I have ever been in my life. I'm off of 14 medications. Hello, 14 medications. All of the diagnosis that went with those medications are in remission or gone. I don't miss the old way of eating. Knowing what I ate is what kept me so sick, fat, tired out, depressed, etc. Makes those foods even more distasteful. I feel for friends, family, and just people in general who continue to poison their bodies slowly, killing themselves with eating all the carbs, sugar, processed crap, and seed oils. I count my blessings. Stacy, way to go. Wow. Look at that beautiful smile on your face. I love that. Wow. How far you've come. Not just on the scale, not just in your clothes, but in your mindset. Because that's the thing. We're starting 
this new year, for some people, this is the very first days and weeks and months that you are eating this way. It's new. That is new. That is a fact. And you will go through some withdrawals right. because as you eliminate stuff from your life, you know, even if I'm not having the holiday movies on Netflix every single day, right? I, I That is removed. And now what are you going to replace it with, right? You're going to feel some withdrawal. But you know what I've learned? Misery is optional. That's right. Misery is is optional. We need to get that in our spirits, okay? There's gonna be days where we make hard choices, but you deciding this is a miserable, awful thing that I am doing for myself, or you deciding, you know what? This is the very best thing I can be doing for myself. I'm not going to be miserable about it. I am not gonna be upset. I understand that I'm having withdrawal right now, but I will get through this. There is victory and joy on the other side of this. And if I will just give this two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it will feel more normal to me than it does right now in this moment. Yeah. Now I do want to say there was another one, but I don't know where the the name piece is. So. Okay. I don't want to put the wrong person in. All right. So we're going to move that to next week because I have like three more already for next week because you guys are amazing and have been awesome. sharing your stories all Good week. job. And especially here at the beginning of the year, please share People your story. People need to hear it. It's really important that you share your story, how you're doing. Updates. And I don't care if your story is, I got started on keto a week ago and this is the first time in my life that I've gone three days without sugar. We want that to celebrate that. That is a success and we need to celebrate it. So please continue to share your stories in our Facebook group, as well as in our Mighty Networks group. We're definitely more active in Mighty Networks. There's a link down below. It's completely free to join. If you want to support us and our mission to change the world, you can do that in Mighty Networks. We don't use Patreon anymore. We use the, uh, that down there, the Mighty Networks, but it is completely free to be in the regular group. Uh, Don, before we go take a commercial, let me answer that. What is the best way to start keto? Should I eliminate everything at once or one thing at a time? Okay, so there's differing opinions. But honestly, the eliminating, will this week eliminate pasta, next week eliminate sugar? I don't think, I personally do not think that that is a good way to go. I think it's just going to be frustrating. I think what you're going to do is not eat pasta this week and eat five pounds of rice or double the amount right. of bread because you're just going to lean on one, you know, or the other. Yeah. So as a certified master coach, my suggestion to, oh, to anybody who is getting started on keto, in the first two weeks, just don't eat carbs. So no pasta, sugar, rice, grains starchy vegetables, any of that stuff. Bread. You're going to focus on meat. Tortillas. Maybe a little bit of green cruciferous vegetables if you want, completely up to you. Um, avoid all fruit, all of that stuff. But in the first two weeks, you're not counting anything. You're eating until you're full, two or three meals a day. If you need five meals a day, do that. You don't count about calories. You're not tracking anything. Just don't eat the carbs. How many carbs can you eat? As little as possible. Yeah. One day maybe 10, one day maybe 40. But we're not, if you want to count anything, the only thing you're going to count is carbs. Try not to let it go over 20 to 30 total carbs. But the carbs should only be coming from eggs, coffee, maybe heavy cream, cheese, vegetables. That's it. None of the other stuff. And do that for the first two weeks. Continue to subscribe to us. Continue to watch us. And we're going to teach you how to do this as you go along. Right. Yeah. If you're not subscribed to our channel, do us a favor and subscribe today. If you like the content that you're seeing, if you enjoy hanging out with us in these live streams, do us a favor and go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and take a quick fade to black for a commercial and then come back. Welcome back. We're still in January. It's 2023. And I look forward to that being very difficult for me to probably get the hang of saying until, what do you think? Two weeks? Three weeks at Fortunately, least? Fortunately, we don't write checks anymore. Yeah. When I would write checks, that was always like, you you knew you were going to blow through them in January because it was like, dang it. I put the wrong date. Mary, um, Mary wants to know how to switch from Patreon. Uh, I'll send you an email or send you a message. The dog opened the door. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into comments. First one we have is from Debbie. Hi, Debbie. 
Debbie said, I actually think Anthony doing that, which was wrapping everything individually, shows depth of love. Aww. He could have just thrown your pods into a box, but the fact that he took the time to individually wrap every single one of them is a testament to the love and fun That's and joy nice. that you have raised him with. And now every morning when you are unwrapping one, it'll bring a thought of him and a smile. Long beyond Christmas Day. I totally I agree like that. with that. That is such a great thing. And you know what else like gave me a chuckle about it was Anthony and Sarah did that together. That was like an afternoon date they spent wrapping those things and wrapping my coffee pods. And I think that it's really nice if as a couple you can find joy and hanging out with one another, serving someone else. Yeah. I think that that's, a I mean, they were serving parents in that moment, but I always think that that's a real blessing for any relationship. If you're trying to grow, you know, closer together in your marriage, in your dating, in friendships, serve somebody together, do a service project together. It just makes it more fun. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Linda. Hey, Linda. Linda saying, going back on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg as of the first of the year, I feel so much better eating that way. Rachel. Okay. The Barracuda are known as the ghosts of the sea because you never see them until they're <laughs> right next to you. Very true. Unless they're in a pack. Okay. Just don't wear jewelry. You'll be fine. I've never had a problem. That's good to so know. So one thing I did, I, I did want to say, Barracudas have a bad reputation. They do. They don't attack. Well, unless they see something, you know, lure-like. Like this yes, would, I, I, you don't want to be wearing that and going to the beach. Barracudas or don't this. tend to attack divers. Okay, good. And But now if you're wearing some big dangling thing that looks like, So no you know, sequin jumpsuit no, no for sequin scuba jumpsuit. diving. Right. No, I mean, that's very, that's very outside of my wheelhouse. <laughs> we need things that are sparkly and sequin. <laughs> Uh, next one is from STF Johns. Johns. Well, hello. Carnivore diet. Can you please provide a sample two meal and one meal a day eating plan? Okay, so if you're going to, uh, to carnivore, what do you suggest? So carnivore is just going to be meat or meat derived. Of course, depending on like what group you belong to, and this would be my advice for 2023, do not join a carnivore Facebook, Facebook group. group. Do not do that to yourself, okay? Because you're gonna feel really good about making hard choices. Like, I only ate a bunless burger patty with cheese on top. Hey, carnivore friends, aren't you so proud of me? And there's gonna be somebody that was like, that's not carnivore, because like, cheese is not just meat. And I think carnivore is only meat and not things derived from meat. So. Right. Do yourself a favor and don't join one of those groups. But what would you say is well, a couple of meals so, of carnivore? Yeah, so first of all, what is carnivore? For people who don't know, if you're brand new, carnivore is eating stuff that is only derived from animals. There you go. There's differing opinions. Some hardcore carnivores say that coffee is not carnivore. Right, because it's not derived from an animal. Right. Um, some will say you can't have pepper, you can't have garlic, you can't have spices. Um, no I disagree. Animals. Whatever you want. No vegetables. It's you're never going to be perfect. Anybody who thinks they're perfect and anybody who thinks they're perfect and anybody who says they ha they eat perfectly, they don't know what they're talking and about. And we are definitely and, the wrong group for you. Yeah. They, no perfect people allowed. They. Uh, <laughs> if you have people who have that who think that they are either misinformed. Yeah. Or they're just self-righteous. Right. Okay? Either way. Stay away from all Not going to be fun at a party. Right. So um, if you're looking for one meal a day, I, you're going to eat until you're stuffed. If you're only eating one meal a day, you've got to get all of your nutrition in there. Yeah. I know people it's don't like to hear eat until you're stuffed, but eat until you're stuffed. The biggest problem with a one meal a day eating is that you may not get enough of the nutrients, especially if you're like me and you can't eat a lot in a sitting. For example, there is a burger place that we are going to go to when we are in Orlando next week called Beth's Burger that does an eating challenge. It's like four burgers with bacon and cheese um, and you have to eat it in 10 minutes. I think we need more burger patties because and we're not eating the bread. Yeah. Now, if you are if you don't eat bread, they will still allow you to do the challenge. But I think they up it to like six patties. Rachel, I know, will have no problem finishing that. We're going to see. I probably would have a hard time finishing all of that in 10 I'm minutes. I'm going to give it my best because try. Because I can't eat a lot in a small sitting. 
Yeah. So I need to eat more. So that's the problem with OMAD is sometimes we don't eat enough. If you're asked, if you want to know, my personal opinion is everybody needs to be eating a minimum of 100 to 150 grams of protein a day. That is your bare minimum. And then you increase fat from there. How much fat? Until you feel good, till you can go another meal. Um, you know, people talk about like, I need to eat 80, 20, 80% of my calories from fat. Just understand this. A ribeye is yeah. 73% fat. Right. It's 73% not... of the calories in a ribeye yeah. comes from fat. So if you eat a ribeye and put a tablespoon of your butter, you're already at 80 calories, at 80% fat. Right. So a good way for me is I like to eat at least a pound of ground beef and a half a dozen of eggs in, as a dinner. And if you, you know, if you eat one to two pounds of beef a day and maybe a half a dozen to a dozen eggs, you're roughly around 2,000 calories and you're going to be doing really, really well. But those are, for me, a, a sample meal of carnivore is a bunch of meat and eggs. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of cheese or something like that. Butter. There's, no, there's not much after that. Right. Yeah. Meat. You know? Uh, next one we have is from Barb. I'm 75, been keto carnivore for six years, lost 45 pounds, have kept it off. I'm five foot seven and weigh 125 pounds. Went down four sizes, feel absolutely great. I walk one to two miles a day on no meds. I will never change the way I am eating. I feel like I'm in my 30s. Watch you on YouTube every day and love it. And I want to congratulate you too. You've done a terrific job. Wow. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for those kind words. Really, honestly, that keeps us going. Now, like, I do want to really say there that. was another post from her. Okay. With ketchup. Okay, is she pro ketchup or no ketchup? If I remember right, On it was the eggs? pro. If I remember right, it was pro. There are a that lot of like people. That seems like your selective memory. There are a lot of people in that video that are pro ketchup on eggs. A I'm lot sorry. Of, a lot of people. Just Pro saying. ketchup on Pro eggs. Pro ketchup on eggs. Ketchup on an egg. Pro ketchup on an egg. No. If I remember, and somebody, I, I want to say it was even her, Barb was, uh, it was ketchup and then also ketchup mixed with mayo on eggs. Fancy sauce. We call that fancy sauce around our around our house. The kids always did love like ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together for that pink sauce. My brother calls it pink sauce. We call it fancy sauce. But um, I would be more inclined to fancy sauce. Instead of ketchup. Just because ketchup. Because mayonnaise, I can eat mayonnaise on an egg, no problem. That's that's egg salad. What's the right? difference that between makes having sense. ketchup on eggs and putting salsa or putting just tomatoes with your eggs? I don't know. A salsa, I don't mind on my eggs. That feels like a huevos ranchero situation. But like just ketchup, there is like a, I don't know. There's just, this is like a sour sweet note in ketchup that I just don't feel like I want to associate with eggs. Uh, Donna said, Rachel, don't yuck somebody else's yum. I'm oh, team ketchup on dang eggs. Dang it. Okay, you caught me. That is one of our rules in the Facebook family group, also in Mighty Networks. Don't yuck somebody else's yum. And you're definitely going to see some plates this month, maybe more than any other month, especially if you're new to keto, where you're like, ew, I don't want to eat that. Let it pass. Just Thumbs up. That's what somebody else is eating. They're super excited about it. We do not yuck somebody's yum. So you're right. You totally caught me. Ketchup on eggs. If that's what you enjoy, I celebrate that with you. Next one is from Mary. Hey, Mary. Mary said, I'm ready to fight. Yes. I just posted on my Facebook page that 2023 is for me. Since 2019, I've lost over 150 pounds. I've wow. reversed type 2 diabetes. I've healed from irritable bowel syndrome. I've cleared my rosacea. got off one and a half of my high blood pressure medication. Yes. Now able to put on my own shoes and my socks. My daughter used to have to do it for me. And many more victories. I'm 57 years old and just now going through menopause and I have about 50 more pounds to lose. It's, it's not, not easy. easy. I allow myself to get caught up in all the noise in the keto community. Thank you for helping us to quiet the noise. Oh, that's awesome. Now is the f time to fight for me, for my health, for my victories. I really much appreciate both of you at Two Crazy Ketos for being who you are, so open and honest. Cheers to 2023. Cheers to 2023. Mary, thank you so much for sharing that. And that really is the prayer that I would have for our channel. And that is to, to be a place of peace 
where you feel the volume of all the noises starting to shut down. Like you, you feel a quiet peace and an acceptance with our channel. That's what we want. There are a lot of voices and I don't like, you know, disregard any of them, but the collective noise when you're reading magazine articles and you're watching YouTube videos and you're seeing things pop up in Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, you could change your plan on the hour, every hour, right? You could be like, hey, I'm gonna do 80-20. Hey, now I'm gonna do PSMF. All right, now we're gonna do carnivore. Like, you could be all over the place. And our desire for you is to be at peace, to not feel like you have to change things up on the daily, that you can make a decision like, hey, I'm just getting started on keto. I don't need to collect every recipe in the keto space right now. I just need to avoid rice, potatoes, sugar, bread, tortillas, just all of that stuff right now. That's what I need to do, two weeks. I'm just gonna do that and I'm not gonna think of anything else. And then go and continue to live your life. Yeah, That is a powerful thing. Here's the thing. When we talk about the noise in the keto space and, and we are keto YouTubers. We, we started our channel as a joke. We've stayed here because we wanted to build a community to help people be successful to help people feel like, hey, I have somebody else because we had nobody to do this with. Nobody. Way. Everybody in our lives was like, this is the stupidest thing you're ever going to do. You're yeah. going to die. And we didn't want other people to experience that. We wanted people to have community. That was the focus of our channel. It continues to be the focus of our channel. It's probably why we don't grow like some other people. We refuse to put out just tons of recipe videos of stuff that we think is not going to help you on your journey. Sometimes we're gonna put out a treat, but I know if we put out videos on just every video was another Sweet. keto dessert or a keto bread, we'd probably have a million subscribers because yeah. that is what everybody wants but it's not gonna help you improve your health. And that is something that we take very seriously. I mean, we saw that this past week. Of all of our videos, go look. The condensed keto milk video, a sweet thing. Which you're gonna use to make fudge. Doubled, that's the, it, we received the double amount. It's triple. Triple of all of the other videos of just trying to reach out and build community. So if we abandon reach out and build community, love on people, meet, try to meet the individual right where they're at, and we just turned our attention to like making sweet treat videos, we would grow mm -hmm. exponentially. But that is not what we believe that God has created us to do. Right. We're here to love people and to serve people. And that even comes through in like the food that we primarily show you, even how to make. You know, we're like <laughs> freeze drying meat and dehydrating vegetables and like doing things that may seem like, gosh, this is just like plain old ordinary smoking meat. But we know that every piece of bacon, every like roast that we're making, if we show somebody how to do that, that's gonna speak health into their life. And that means they're gonna get to see another year. And that's what we feel like we're called to do. Yeah, so we're gonna continue to do this. You guys inspire us as much as we inspire you. You know, we, you know as we saw earlier, somebody's going scuba diving because Rachel is trying it. Sarah Gustafson keeps Rachel moving every day. Yes, she does. Right? Because every day, Rachel will wake up and be like, I don't want to go for a walk. And then she'll open up Mighty Networks and be like, darn it, Sarah's out at 5 a.m. walking. Yeah. I got to get up. That's right. Right? That's so right. It's really important to have community. That's the focus of our channel. We're going to continue to do it this way, even if it takes us forever to get to 100,000 subscribers. We appreciate you guys for really helping us to stay focused and we're going to continue to help you to stay on track because we want to see everybody get healthy. Yes, we do. Let's take a quick break and come back with Facebook. It is too early in the year to cry. Angie wants the new jerky <laughs> recipe. Uh, we're going to yes, be working on working that. on that. The kids were really liking it. It is you know, jerky is like a gamer's best friend. Mm -hmm. We learned that even when the kids were little and it was funny. So, you know, whatever game you get for Christmas, all the boys still to this day love, 
you know, playing against the Christmas noobs, the new people to the game, because like they're easy targets, right? right? Because they're not good. They don't have a handle on it yet. So you always want to play that week following Christmas, whatever game you're playing, because you know you're going to be like, you know, you're, you're really going to level up quickly. And so they don't want to like leave their gaming system. So yeah, Kayla was just chewing on all of the beef jerky this past week. Uh, first one on Facebook we have is from Nancy. Hi, Nancy. She said, newbie here, what is the best way to get started and understand what can be eaten or not eaten? So Welcome. we've kind of covered this, but I'll say it one more time in case somebody is just joining. The first couple weeks, you're just going to not eat carbohydrates. Yeah. That's all I want you to do. In that's, the first a, that's a that's a full time job of subscribe those to things. the channel. We've got some more videos coming out on about that. That's why somebody did ask what happened to the keto child video. We'll probably do it later on. Um, but there were so many other videos that we just didn't get a chance to do that one yet. Uh, of what's in the this month's keto box. So we'll probably have it later on today or yeah. tomorrow. This time of the year, like, we've got, like, 100 videos in our head, but we don't want to overwhelm people. Like, sometimes if you put more than one video a day, some people don't even like one video a day. Yeah. They want, like, one video a week. And so I never want to overwhelm people with it, but that's where you're going to start. Long-term, overall, whole foods. That's where you want to, whole foods focusing on meat. Anytime you are buying something, if you are in the grocery store shopping, you should need a sweater. Yeah. If you do not need a sweater to shop at your grocery store, you're down the wrong aisle. You yeah. want to be, you know, like going around the outer aisle. You want to keep in the vegetable and the meat section, but you want to fill up your cart with meat first, just right. like you want to fill up your plate with meat first. In fact, whatever you're eating as a vegetable or like a side dish to your meat, I advise you heavily, eat that last. Eat yeah. your meat before everything else. Because you need the protein. You do not need carbohydrates. There is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. So whether you are having cheese, whether you are having cauliflower rice, whether you are having broccoli, whether you are having a keto treat, they're all treats. They're all extra things to your life. So eat your meat, before your treats. Right. And that really helps. Here's the thing. You, we, we say focus meat and people are going to be like, what do you mean I can't eat vegetables? You can eat vegetables. I am going to say this. It's very difficult to do keto as a vegetarian unless you're willing to eat eggs. Yeah. Now, if you're willing to eat eggs and maybe cheese or as fish. a vegetarian or fish, it's, it's possible. At the risk of annoying people. Please don't. It's... Down, as far as I'm concerned, it's impossible to do keto properly as a vegan. It's very, ex you've got First to have all, a it's, lot you're of You're going to have to have a lot of processed garbage. Right. You're like, keto with impossible burgers, it's processed garbage. Um, you can't get all of the vitamins and nutrients you need unless you're eating meat. And if you're eating eggs and fish, you can. But if you're not eating that... It's darn right, as far as I'm concerned, impossible to do keto as a vegan. Yeah. It's slightly possible as a vegetarian, but you need so many supplements. It, veganism isn't just, it's just not super healthy because you can't get all of the vitamins and nutrients unless you heavily supplement. When it comes to keto, you need to eat your meat because that's where you're going to get most of your vitamins, your nutrients, and your protein. So focus on that. We're not against vegetables. As a matter of fact, we're starting to incorporate a little bit more vegetables in because I want that gut biome. What happens is if you completely eliminate vegetables, then you go have broccoli or something, you get a little bit of bloat. Distress. It's not that your body doesn't do well with it. It's that um, you're missing the gut biome because you haven't been having it. Now, if you start incorporating that, incorporate things like yogurt and stuff like that, it'll come right back. We're not eating a lot of vegetables, but every once in a while, I want a salad. I want some asparagus. Thank you so much, Air Fry and Auntie. Been watching you for a little over two years. I came for the info and community and stayed for the love. Thank you for all you do. Thanks so much for being a member for 14 months, Ms. Shauna. Next one's from Melinda. Hey, Melinda. Not trying to start anything, and I know Joe said he doesn't consider butter dairy, but butter is made from milk, and milk is dairy. So is it just a rationalization to eat butter but say I'm dairy-free? This just makes me scratch my head. Good question. It's a great question. It was actually a comment on somebody else's uh, post, 
And I pull this because I understand it's confusing for yeah. some people. The reason I don't consider butter dairy, it's not to say I'm dairy free, but a lot of people who do go dairy free, they do it because um, dairy doesn't react well. Maybe they get bloating like heavy whipping cream bloats me. Yes. Um, that could be part of my problem is that we had like a can of whipping cream. We had a goodbye night. heavy whipping cream because party. We had to get rid of it all. So, um, we had means, to get rid of it between all. Between the two of us, it basically means we ate a pint of heavy whipping cream on Saturday. Uh, no regrets. Right? I have no returns for, for December. So, um, a lot of times dairy can cause inflammation on people. Or they have a dairy, dairy allergy or they have a lactose allergy. Butter, many times, is not fall into that category. Because butter is pretty much just a little bit of milk fat solids and fat and a lot of water. So a lot of times if somebody has a dairy allergy or even if they get bloating from say heavy cream or something, right. that does not happen with butter because it's basically just fat from an animal. Yeah. So that's why I say that because it's not about like, I wanna be able to say I'm dairy free but I'm still having butter. It's because of why people go dairy free. And butter generally does not cause the same issue. Then you have people who maybe they do have problems with butter because there's still a little bit of milk solids left in there. And they can, but they're completely fine with ghee and clarified butter, which clarified butter and ghee are pretty which much the same thing. We have ghee a is just video on flavor. how to make it yourself because right. we understand ghee and clarified butter can be very expensive. Right. And it's very easy to make it yourself out of, you know, buying butter. So if you have an issue even with butter, we highly recommend trying that. Try right. ghee or try uh, clarified butter. Yeah, but basically that's what it is. Butter is really got no protein in it. It's essentially carb free. It's like 0. 0.000005, like not anywhere in the rounding ass. But that is why a lot of people who don't want to eat dairy, like cheese and milk and, and yogurt and that kind of stuff, they're completely fine for having butter. And I think butter is one of the healthiest fats, now, that and tallow. Now I will say, you know, one of the things you're going to notice with keto is as you get started, your bathroom frequency is going to change. It changes a little bit. Oh, well, let's read this first. Hi, Steph. Thank you so much for that $1.99 super chat. Headed to my gym in Omaha to lift heavy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Steph. So what I was saying is that butter, as you, you know, butter and salt causes you to go to the bathroom. Yep. And what is keto heavy in? butter and salt, right. right? So you will notice that you may, especially if you're getting started on triple B and E, you're going carnivore, even if you're just going keto, we're used to like leveraging fiber. That's where it makes you us go to the bathroom. Fiber. Butter and salt, the fat and salt is going to make you go to the bathroom. Right. So just be prepared for that a little bit, you know. Okay. Don't be afraid of it. Let's move on to the next one. We have a bunch left and don't have a lot of time left. Oh, sorry about that. This one's from Angela. Hi, Angela. Angela said, there were a lot of I didn'ts this year. I did not get a Starbucks peppermint mocha. I did not have an eggnog latte. I did not indulge in fruitcake. And I was happy. I did not crave any of these things. In past years, my attitude was I waited all year. Not this year. Oh, that's good. Scott Odell Jr. was an inspiration to me. Congratulations to you, Scott Odell Jr., and everyone who overcame obstacles. Wow. This is why we share stories. So I, I thought I saw earlier that Scott was in here. Scott, are you in here? Because like, I hope that you saw that. And if you didn't, like, I hope you're seeing this on the replay. You don't know what your, you know, sharing your story is going to do. You're thinking, well, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm sure a lot of people have been able I don't boast. to do this. I don't want to brag. Maybe you've been raised feeling like if I share my story or brag about how far I've come, like it's like I'm being conceited. We give you permission to share your story. It is not being like conceited. It is in humility that you're sharing, hey, I'm sharing this victory 
that shows like I had obstacles in the past that I have finally overcome and you help somebody else to go ahead and believe for themselves that maybe they could also experience success. So That's thank right. you so much for sharing your journey because it, it clearly impacted somebody else's. Uh, next one is from Denise. Hey Denise, is brown butter the same properties, calories, fats as regular butter? Um, so I know you answered that because we were driving. You asked yeah. me that, what to write. No, it's close. Very close. Okay. So brown when you brown butter, you're gonna you're gonna evaporate some of the water. Okay, and you're getting closer to ghee and to clarified butter when you brown butter. So you are gonna lose some water. So, so what that means is. If you were to weigh it out, gram for gram, there would be slightly more fat and thus calories. I don't really count calories, but there would be slightly more fat and calories in a tablespoon of butter as opposed to a tablespoon of brown butter because the brown butter is going to have more actual fat in that same tablespoon because you've lost some water. But again, I don't, measure anything. So for me, it's not a big deal. So I couldn't tell you exactly how much. Boink said, I eat one stick of butter a day. No allergies for me. That's good news. And again, it's most people who have a dairy allergy do not have problems with butter. Right. And again, and if they have problems with butter, a lot of times they won't have any problems. Keep going again. deeper. Right. Uh, next one is from Chris. Chris, today is the first Monday of January, and I bet it's the number one workout day of the year. Yeah, I bet it is all hands on deck at every local gym. All of those resolutioners out there with great motivation for the new year. <clears throat> I've been on that wagon before and then promptly fell off a week or sometimes a month later. While we should not use exercise to lose weight, I found that when I purposely get daily activity or movement in, I'm far more likely to stick to my way of eating. <clears throat> That's awesome. It's a mentality that helps with all around motivation. Building muscle is good for me. Moving those muscles is good for me. Eating the proper human diet is good for me. So tell me, what are you going to do this week to move daily? Walking, biking, exercise with a video? Anyone get an Oculus for Christmas? I'd love to help support and motivate your fitness goals this year. Let's do this. Chris Miller, I love your face. I love your face so much, but I love your heart even more. Look at this. This is why we started Mighty Networks. This is why we have right. a Facebook family group. This is why we believe in community because it's not just us that want to help hold you accountable and cheer you on in your journey. It's other people like Chris Miller, who's actually helping to put together our Mighty Meetup, which is going to take place January 13th and January 14th right. in Orlando, Florida. If you're interested, you live in the South Florida or Orlando area and you want to get together, send an email to well, anywhere Mighty That's why Meetup we chose 2023. Of course, it's one long thing, but I want you to see all the words in it with you know all, no no separation. Mighty Meetup 2023 at gmail.com. We're going to be getting together to, to just have a good, you know, couple of meals together. It's a good time of community, but yeah, what are you going to do this year to move? Right. Say it. Don't just say, I'm going to move more. Let's get very, let's get very specific. You're going to have a specific meal tonight. You're not just going to, if I ask you, what did you have for dinner last night? There were, where's it? There's an answer. There was not like keto food. You'd be able to break up what is on your plate? Let's break up our movement and decide, okay, I am going to walk around the block one time every single day at 8 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Whatever whatever it is, be specific, make a time, and then allow yourself to be held accountable by answering questions like Chris's in, in the Mighty Networks. Next one's from Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Is there a suggested number of times to eat per day? I know I need to eat until very full and sit and enjoy. I've been generally not eating until around noon on keto. I don't know if I'll be able to eat three meals a day, but I'm sure I could adjust. I want to make sure I'm getting enough because I think I under eat as far as fat and protein are concerned. Thanks for any advice. Uh, our suggestion is two to three times a day. Don't snap. Just don't snap. That's, that's the key. If you eat and then you're hungry, 
an hour later, you probably didn't eat enough. Try increasing the fat. Um, one of the things like, and, and again, I know we're running long already, but like, so Becca was actually asking earlier this week, like, how do you determine the macros on our carnivore chip? That was a great question. If you're somebody who can't eat a lot and you're worried you're not getting enough protein and fat in, try doing that. Make because those now carnivore chips. You've literally eliminated the volume of what you're eating by 50 to 70%, but you're yeah. still getting the same amount of protein and fat. Isn't that awesome? Because yeah, you're going to turn, you know, like you turn a pound of meat into five ounces. Right. Way easier. And you're getting that, get that same in. protein in there. Get the protein, you get the fat. What you're losing is the volume. So if you're somebody that's like, I would love to up my protein, and so I think I need to eat a million. Don't use protein powders you to don't, up your protein. Yeah, don't bother with like getting a bunch of protein shake stuff at Joanne Fabrics or, you know, Ross Dress for Less. They're going to be, you know, selling containers of protein powder get it from actual meat just right. make those carnivore chips we we make them in dehydrator we make them in the oven in the we smoker. make them on a smoker so whatever cooking appliance you have it can be done yep a uh, couple more real quick uh next one's from kate hey kate i am looking at mozzarella cheese that has already been shredded the five pound bag from sands club has powdered cellulose to prevent caking is that any better than the maltodextrin or potato starch that is used in other brands i can shred my own and may do that but i was curious about the powdered cellulose since i have never seen that okay so powdered cellulose is basically wood pulp okay so do with that what you want we use cellulose to make hot dogs, and we, we pull that off because it's not an edible cellulose. Right, we cut it off. Um, I'm going to address the overall shredded cheese. If you have the time and the ability and want to shred your own cheese, yeah. then you should do it. Do we use bags of pre-shredded cheese? Yes, yes we do. Yes, we do. That, for me, falls into the you can't be perfect 90% is good enough. The amount of cellulose or the amount of potato starch that you are going to get in that pre-shredded cheese is very tiny. Like, not measurable tiny. If you look at pre-shredded cheese and it says it has one carb, it's not the potato starch. It's because there's carbs in cheese, regardless of what people think. People think cheese is zero carb. Pretty much all cheese is one carb per ounce. It just, sometimes it's a rounding thing and they can put zero, but it's basically one carb per ounce. And that's in like, not one where they've added cranberries and stuff like that. Mozzarella cheese, Gouda cheese, all of them, one carb per ounce. Always figure that. To me, it's just easier. It's better to pre-shred it, but then you get a lot of clumping and I don't want to pull out the shredder every time. So I, we, sometimes we shred our own, but we always keep a bag of pre-shredded cheese and I don't worry about it. Right. So again, that's something where don't worry about it. Uh, Diane wants to know where can we get information about the upcoming keto cruise? Uh, what is it? Uh, lowcarbcruise.com. And also you can go to lowcarbevents.com. Um, there's one more, I think. From Judy. Hey, Judy. It's put together. Has to be in my basement for room. Had the slicer for years and only pulled out of the closet when needed. Now it has a home. P.S. I love the dehydrator better than my old round one that barely fit meat on it. Got a meat grinder for Christmas, so no idea how it works yet. But look at that. See, that, that is set up for success. You know, John Paul and Michelle put a home gym in their garage because they knew no matter what was going on with his work, he could always get up early enough to Michelle get in that gym. Michelle was a CrossFit trainer. She is able, even with the baby, to start working out. Why? Because it's there. Right. If you have your place set up to be successful, then you'll use it. So I love how you have set up a processing station. Why? Because it's going to direct even how you buy groceries. You're about to save money on groceries. Why? Because you're thinking, I've got a meat slicer at home. I could buy roasts and cook them. I have a dehydrator. I could slice them. I could make the meat chips, right? You are ready to be successful. Sometimes we don't set up our space for success. Maybe that is the best thing that you can do for your keto journey 
in 2023, especially if this is keto 2.0 or 10.0 for you, take a look at your space. Is it set up for success? Have you made it so difficult to cook meat? and everything is like the bagel slicer is out and the thing that you strain all of the potatoes in, like is all of the things of your past standard American diet life out there on the counter and maybe you need to put that away and set up your George Foreman. You don't want to put that away. Well, I mean, do you want to put your George Foreman grill out? So what I'm going to say is, and and I'm telling you this from experience and I was in this situation. If you have potato mashers. Yeah. If you have, we had a French fry press, like we did. The, the big that does French fries. Go ahead and donate don't put those. it away. Sell it. There you go. Offer up Facebook Marketplace. If the, if you have a piece of equipment in your house that is ninety nine percent used for vegetables, yeah, like tortilla presses and and that kind of stuff, get rid of it. You're never going to use it again. And if you're going into it with I'm going to use this as soon as I hit my weight. Just stop now. Right. Okay? You need to change your lifestyle. Anybody, if you are brand new, and I know Rachel hates it when I say this. I do hate it when he says it, If you are it, brand new and true. you are starting keto yeah. with the intention to lose some weight, and as soon as you get to your weight, you're going right back to the way you were eating before. Eating the Oreo cookies, eating the ice cream, eating the processed garbage. It's just. Stop now. It's going to cause heartache. It's not going to work. Yeah. You're going to go back to eating what you were before. And you're going to, I promise you, gain at least half of the weight back. And yeah. when I say half, I mean if you lose 10 pounds, you're going to gain at least 15 back. Why? Because now you're going into it, eating, wanting to you go back to all the carbs. Purge. Plus, you're going to be used to eating a lot of fat. Yeah. You're going to be eating bacon, so it's going to be worse. You need to look at keto, carnivore, ketovore, whatever form of the proper human diet you're doing. This is a lifestyle change. Yeah. You may want to incorporate a little bit more vegetables later on, but if you're planning on going back to eating all of the processed garbage and the sugar and all, on the pasta and the grains, just stop now because you're not going to have success. Yeah. Before you go to purge that pantry. It's like your closet purge. Purge it here. Purge what's going on here. The, the thoughts that you've been having that like, I've always been a failure and this is going to be no different. I can't maintain success. The success that I've had, it's fleeting and I'm not going to have any more or I am not somebody that can stick to things. Purge those thoughts first before you even go to your pantry. Right. You need to get rid of those thoughts. This is different. You're going to live differently this year. Yep. Let's jump into comments for a little bit. Jerry said, no pepper, no garlic, et cetera. Flush those people. Who needs negativity in their life? Very, very true. Right? It's just going to undermine you, especially if you're like bold. Like I love seeing Jerry J Dog on Instagram, like puts out the most beautiful, like, you know, demonstrations of like the meat that he's cooking, the meals that he's preparing. And if you, I mean, you're putting a little bit of yourself out there. Every time we put a recipe or you put a vlog out, we're putting our heart out on the line. And believe me, we know it when we read the negative comments. And if you get a negative feedback, like, well, that, you know, you put garlic salt on that. So that's not carnivore. Like that really hurts your feelings. So he's right. Who yeah. needs that? Lady Fritz said, I do not, I do not prefer the word stuff because to me it means pain and that doesn't make sense for me to do that to myself. So here's the thing for somebody who is brand new and one of the, and, and a lot of people are starting beef, butter, bacon, and egg today. Full means something different before you actually experience right. full. A lot of times we don't know what full means. Right. One of the best benefits to me, I think even more than the fact that it's an elimination diet, I think one of the best benefits to beef, butter, bacon, egg is you get in touch with satiety. Yeah. You learn what full feels like. If you go back to the interview we did with Dr. Barry, the way you're going to discover that is by eating until you're stuffed. And he talks about, you're going to eat until you're uncomfortable, until the thought of putting one more bite in your mouth just makes you want to throw up. You're only going to do that one or two times. Then that's going to help you to recognize. Don't push past don't that. Don't push past that. But yeah. you have to learn But you have to know that. what is the limit before right. you can rein it back. You're not going to live 
like feeling like you're going to throw up all the time because you wouldn't be able to. That's like, not how we're always eating. We're not. You're not going to maintain a job like that, right? We got stuff to do. I can't just like eat and then go lay down and take a nap for life, right? But how many times have we spent in a diet mentality feeling like every single day was white knuckling it? Right. Feeling like full meant what can I do to get from one meal to the next meal without losing my job, being put in prison, killing my family, right? Because you're just trying to like hold on and be at like a manageable state of misery. Right. So we're trying to actually answer that first complaint you always have whenever you start a new way of eating, which is, I feel deprived, I'm not full. Right. So we're going to answer that first and foremost. Yeah. You're going to get full. You're yeah. going to feel full. That will not be the issue. Yeah, eating two eggs and two slices of bacon, the only thing that leads to is wanting to eat again at 10 o'clock in the morning. Right? Yeah. That leads to that eat five to six meals a day. You want to eat until you're full. If Again, we're looking to get 1,800 to 2,500 calories a day if you're into counting calories. That's only coming from meat and fat. So divide that by two or three meals. That means your average meal should be somewhere between 600 to 800 calories a, per meal. That's so when and you And that's think, again, only fat and protein. So eating it, at least one to one. And protein you will find, especially if you're new to this, when you eat meat and you're like leading with meat, you hit a protein wall right? where you're like, I cannot eat another bite. You do not get the same thing with carbohydrates. Right. That's why you can eat an entire family size bag of Doritos and then feel like you could eat again later. Carbohydrates don't fill you up. Right. Brenda said, because of keto, I now have chickens, geese, and turkeys. Because, <laughs> but the chickens are for eggs. Rest are pets. Oh, nice. You've kept me doing this way of eating. I'm so thankful because oh, I really have support. Oh, Brenda. We were out with the chickens yesterday going, we have 11 We chickens. have 11 chickens. Like, we're looking but at the backyard to like. To me, they're great pets. I'm with you, Plus Brenda. Plus, they give us food. I'm with Brenda, though. Like, look what's happened to us. Look at, like, all of the, even just the appliances that we have. It's like, because of keto, I slice meat. Because of keto, I freeze dry things. Yeah. Lady Fritzer said, keep the meat recipes and techniques coming, please. Awesome. That is the foundation, the only essential food in this proper human diet world. And it doesn't tickle the wrong craving. That that hurts my heart. You know, I, and, I, and I think that that is one of the biggest reasons why I'm so adamant about it. And like, it, we talk about meat a lot. And it is because I know what it feels like to fail over and over and over again which means that I really want to bring you things that's going to support you and put you in the lane of you're going to succeed. Mm. I don't want to see you fail. I want you to succeed so much so that I'm like, I want to cook meat and every single cut of it and every presentation for every single person so that I have the hope that I can snag you in w with w one thing that you're like, okay, I like meat. Because I know that for some people, it's very hard to start like liking meat. Right. I want to help in that challenge. So like, that's why we provide every cut of meat every which way. Right. And and again, are we going to still make some recipe videos? And, and yeah, Certainly. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a fudge one. Do I want that to come out right now? No, because I don't want anybody eating fudge in the first three weeks of their their keto journey. It's hard, yeah. So it's like, they're gonna be timed. It's just, we're gonna have them, but we are we only put out a video based on that's something we're gonna eat. That's right. So we could do a bunch of clickbaity things. That was, it was kind of where I started going before. A lot of these videos where it's like, oh, this is the new way to eat. It's just a way to, we gotta, we gotta start something new. Yeah. Just eat meat and vegetables. And, and if you're going to have a keto treat, it's it's a treat. It's a once in a while thing. You find what's sustainable for you. If carnivore is sustainable for you, then eat carnivore. It's not sustainable for yeah. you. If ketovore, which is pretty much the way we eat, you eat meat and maybe a little bit of vegetables and maybe a once in a blue moon keto treat, then that's what you do. If eating, the only way you can say sustainable is to eat a whole bunch of what people call dirty keto, then do that start there. I promise you it will evolve. We started off with having to have fat bombs and mug cakes every day. Yes. Now it's once a month. You know, it, it evolves. 
but do what's sustainable. Jerry said, I saw at Costco on Saturday, they had two dozen large eggs for five ninety. Nice. Best price I've seen in a long time. Kroger is $9 for 18 eggs. Heavy whipping cream was $8 as well for 32 ounces. Yes, that's another thing. That's Please, fantastic. Please, in our groups, when you see deals like this, put it up. Like recently, I went to Costco. I got, it was five, the box of five dozen eggs for $13. So like we bought that, even though we always have five dozen eggs in the house. Eggs... Even at $4 a dozen are still the most cost-effective way to get your protein, your vitamins, your nutrients, and your fat in. It's still the cheapest. Even though they're expensive, it's still the cheapest and best form of nutrition. You we can were get. talking about this on New Year's Eve with Michelle and John Paul and how there's not a difference in the good eggs. The good eggs are still six or seven dollars a dozen. The price is like they right always there now. they always were. They were the same. What is different and what is what we notice is the ninety nine cent eggs, or sometimes even cheaper than that eggs, are now also five ninety nine or right. or seven ninety nine. So if that's the case. What do we do? It feels very natural. Try the good eggs, right? Right, Because they're still giving you, you know, the, the cheap eggs are still cheaply made. Right. And now the good eggs are still at the same price. I'm actually really thankful to the farmers of these good eggs who didn't take their opportunity to make the good eggs $10 a dozen. Right. Right? Because I have not seen that where it's like, oh, okay, well, if the... The um, 99 cent eggs are now $6. Well, then shouldn't the $6 eggs be $12? I mean, they've gone up a little bit, but that's but just not like a they supply could and have. demand. You know, not people like are they buying could have. They could have gone up a lot more. Yeah. Tamara said, how do I join Mighty Network? Look there is a beautiful link picture. down below in the description. Gorgeous. So you you just head on over there, you sign up, and then you, you will see it's you can join the free group, which is where 99% of the stuff happens. And then there is a $5, a $10, and a $25 level. That is just people who want to support us instead of supporting us on Patreon. We use that. And uh, we do some special things. We're going to get back into doing more of like previews of videos. Uh, we do extra live streams for them and that kind of stuff. We don't lock anything strictly behind there. It's like we're never going to make a recipe and say it only goes to them. Right. We don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of times they'll get something early. We just kind of slacked off over the last couple of weeks because of the holidays and paint and coming and everything else. So, But yeah, that's the best way. Also, before we do get off, I do want to mention if you are doing the beef butter bacon egg course, we are going to be doing a live check-in inside of the course tonight at 5 p.m. I'm going to uh, put the uh, event thing in in a little while. Um, but that will be tonight at 5 p.m. And it's going to be inside of the course is where you're going to be able to find that. Um, let's see. Any more before we get off? Carrie said, I am dairy-free and I was eating butter and it didn't react good. So now I'm not doing butter. Ever since I got rid of milk, sinus issues went away. I can do keto chow with no problem. Which is kind of interesting because keto chow is yeah. dairy. Um, but... You can always try eliminating the milk solids and just go to ghee. That That's where I would start. Um, let's see. Jackie said, I have a carton unopened and some unfinished keto chow pudding and a relight left over from last night. All goes in the trash for beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Until and it's April. tough. It's really, really hard. You know, and maybe you're starting keto and you're like, okay, my challenge is no sugar, no, you know, but I've got some sugar left over from my stocking. I have got some potatoes left over from, you know, the, the holiday season. Throw it in the trash. Yep. Throw it in the trash. You spent the money, you used the money at the grocery store. The mistake was at the grocery store. Don't let there be two mistakes. Don't let there be the mistake when I bought it at the grocery store and the mistake when I eat it in my house. Mm -hmm. Let it end with one mistake. Go ahead and put it into the trash. And when I say, gosh, like that seems terrible that you're like putting candy into the trash, shouldn't I donate it? No, nobody needs that sugar. Right. Nobody needs it. The kids at church don't need it. The, the, the church volunteers don't want it. We don't want to have to give that to the kids. Nobody needs these things. So like throw out all the, like the chocolate and the everything. Just throw it in the trash. Nobody needs it. 
Heartland Sub said, we've been off plan for two months. I gained 21 pounds. I hate it. I'm doing Nisha's challenge for the next 30 That's days. That's awesome. I need it so much. So much inflammation has me barely getting around. And that is the good news that you've got more than one like group of people cheering for you. So participating in our elimination challenge, which is like our goal is if you're not doing triple B and E, that's fine. At least eliminate one thing. I told you we're not calling it a challenge. One thing. Eliminate one thing in the month of January. That's that's a challenge to yourself. Right. If you want that. But you can do the same thing. If you're part of Nisha's group, you are doing that. Right. So we're we all go together, which is what I love about this community. Right. I love it. I, I the reason I said we're not calling it a challenge, I saw a bunch of people on that video talk about I left a link for it down below, but talk about um I don't like challenges because then I feel like I fail. Listen, here's the thing. Our our the focus of Two Crazy Ketos for 2023 is fight for your life. Yeah. Every month we're going to have a different focus. It's not a challenge. It's a focus. This month's focus is eliminate at least one thing. It doesn't even have to be food. It could be negativity. It could be anything. I'm going to yeah. eliminate watching TV in the middle of the night. Whatever it is. But here's the thing. If you are doing keto or carnivore or any variation of the proper human diet... You are already eliminating stuff. You've eliminated the processed food in the grocery store. You've eliminated grains. What we're doing is saying take it a step further and find something that maybe is not helping you on your journey and take it out for 30 days and see does your journey improve. Well, and here's the thing. You're fighting for your life. That is not a challenge. Right. That is like... A, a, like that is a situation that is that is like the fight of life living every single day and supporting the goal of living i do a lot of things to support living i make good choices to support living and so that is something that i can do every single time i i'm at meal time maybe the elimination this month is netflix because you know you're watching four hours of it a day and when and you're not having any time to move or do some other things that you want to move. I love Netflix, but there is a net in it. It can catch you, right? So if you're like, hey, I want to move this year, or I want to spend more time with my family, then hey, I snack at night and that's a problem. Maybe it's the Netflix right. that needs to be eliminated. Cindy mentioned she liked seeing our picture behind us. Thank you so much to Cindy who actually made right. this picture. We actually got it from her at Akita Palooza. Thanks so much. So a couple things before we go. I noticed a bunch of people talk about selling stuff. Um, I prefer offer up over Facebook Marketplace. I just mentioned because some people like that. Mm -hmm. um, I find with Facebook Marketplace, I get... A lot of scammers who are trying to, like, I'll send you the money, you mail it to me, and I don't like that. Right. Offer up many times is just more of within your area. And I will say be safe with it. Like, you can go to the local police stations. Most local police stations will allow you to do the deal right in there. Or um, I'll go to, like, places like Walmart, like, right up in the front where everybody in the world and there's Public, cameras. Safe. Or I go to the bank and I do it in front of the bank where I know there's cameras and stuff like that. So... Um, but it is a great way to sell things. But I love OfferUp. It's pretty much like a garage sale. If you are going to sell something on there, I'm going to tell you what you do is price it high. Yeah. Um, so think about, like, look up how much is it brand new. Take off 10% price it there because, no, everybody is going to haggle. Right. Everybody's going to haggle. So Don't. you want to end up where, if you want to end up at $200 and it sells for $300 normal, Price it at two fifty and end up at two hundred. Like I'm go. selling a scooter, and like the normal price is four hundred. I put it at three twenty five, and people are like, "I'll give you fifty bucks." No, you know, it's like my my selling price is like two twenty five is where I'm good at. Somebody was asking about eggs. Like, is it just need to be chicken eggs? No, and all eggs, it, all triple B and E. It's a little harder around here to get things like turkey eggs and duck eggs. But by all means, uh, get eggs. That If you're doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, beef means any ruminant animal. And if you do a Google search of ruminant animals, you'll see there is a lot of ruminant animals. Lot, and ruminant animals are just animals with a multi-chambered stomach, which right. is what distinguishes them from other uh, protein sources like you know, pigs and chickens who don't have multi-chambered stomachs. They take the food that's not good for you and turn it into something that is good for you. They're amazing that way. There's so many benefits to that. And we will talk about that in our challenge 
um, course that yeah. we're, we're, we're we'll, we'll say that. Course. course. The course. The course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but any eggs, it doesn't have to be chicken eggs. It could be any eggs that you want to eat. We are going to get off. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back live on Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. In addition to that, uh, again, if you're taking our beef, butter, bacon, egg course, we're going to be live there. Can't wait to see there. you. And uh, I think we may be also doing a live for all of our channel supporters next weekend. Uh, we're going to figure out our schedule a little later today. But guys, thank you so much for joining us. Everybody have a great day. We love Bye. you.